Now in home design, Hamish has brought along a mate, Craig Lynn, from Before You Buy, who is here with years of knowledge to share with us on how to make sure that you are making the right choice when you're making your biggest investment, buying a home. Morning, guys. Good afternoon. Morning. afternoon. Nice to have you both here. Now, why should you get a professional inspector to look at a property before you buy? Okay, well, let me put it to you like this. If you were to go and buy an old car, mm -hmm. 30 years plus, up to 100, which there is a lot of houses over 100 years old, you'd take a mechanic or a panel beater because you don't know what's hiding inside, you, get you don't it know checked. what's hiding. Yeah. Correct. You're right. So that's what we do. You know, no houses really are up for sale secondhand wise that are under 10, 15 years old. So it's good to get them looked at. Yeah. So what are the most common problems that you see? Um, it's the big ticket items. It's the ones that are going to give you a shock when it comes, you buy it, and then two years down the line, you're like, oh my God, I've got to replace the roof or I've got to replace some joinery, or my cladding's rotten out, or there's problems in my subfloor. So those are the big ticket items that we look at. They're the ones you can um, really fall over with if you've stretched your budget to buy this house. So what sort of money would you be up for for some of those? Uh, Re-roofing could be between 10 and 30 grand. Okay. Re-piling, re you're up 30, 40 grand. So quite a long way over yeah. what your initial budget might be. Yeah. What about the different things that pop up for the different styles of homes? Because there must be different things that you see in a 70s house versus like a villa and things, yeah, or 80s okay. homes? So with villas, you um, you, you stumble across um, older older joinery, older buildings, uh, the subfloor underneath is old, it's native timber, um, the roofs, the walls are all out of plumb. A bit yeah, wobbly. everything mm. like that. But generally, when you're buying a, a villa house these days, someone's done it up. It looks bloody good. <laughs> um, everyone's spent the money on it. Or if you buy the diamond in the rough, it's the old one that's just sitting in the nice street, just ready to go. But it's yeah. going to cost you a lot of money to fix it up. It's all the weatherboards, it's the joinery, and the fretwork on those old houses that's going to cost you a fortune to fix up. So if you're going to go out and, uh, I don't know, you might be uh, hitting the pavement mm -hmm. and you're going to go and look at, say, 10 houses, because that's what we tend to do. Uh, obviously, you're not going to want to, just off the initial glance, go and book 10 house inspections. You might. You would like Why us not? to. Sorry, my bad. Sounds uh, good to me. <laughs> I may not be able to afford <laughs> to have the whole 10. So if you're going to hit the ground running, you want to whittle that number down to a couple. Are there any sort of red flags that you can, you'd automatically see off the bat? You go and, like I say before, it's your big ticket ones. You know, the smaller stuff you can fix up, it's not going to cost you much to repair, but it's your roof. You can stand back. When you walk in the driveway, that's your first initial sight of the house. You can see if there's something wrong with it. You look up on the roof, if you see rusty roof, or it's, it's just not looking, there's shallows or dips in the roof. Um, you're walking around the outside, just have a look at everything. Look at, um, look at the weatherboards, look at the suffetes, look at the fascias, gutterings. Mm. If your gutterings leaking or it's broken, you know, it's all this expensive stuff's going to cost you money. So you want to be able to look at it and think to yourself, okay, I can fix that, fix that, fix that, but what's going on there? Do I need to get someone to have a look at that? What about tiles and things? How can you tell if they're <coughs> not right? Uh, like you get in the 10, 15 years ago, you are allowed to glue tiles straight onto the butanol roofs. Mm. Um, if the grout's missing, there's problems because the grout is one of your um, inhibitors to letting the water through. So as soon as the water gets underneath those tiles, it starts eating away at the glue, the glue starts eating away at the, the mm. membrane and then you've got issues. So that water, water damage can be quite a big issue, can't it? Can you check for that yourself? It's the worst issue out, water. Yeah. It gets in everywhere. I've seen water go uphill. Um, so, but you can't, there's no way of testing it yourself. You, you can take a moisture meter with you, but not everyone's going to go out and buy it. You want one? No, no, sadly. No, I'm I, going to get one though for I sure now. I actually don't have a moisture meter either. <laughs> no, okay. no. Uh, what about, are there, some, I have yours. are there some certain houses that you should avoid if, if you don't have big reserves to fix them? Yeah, unless you're a builder or a developer. I'm going to say this but in, a, in a nicer way, but just stay away from the direct fix plaster homes. There's plaster homes now that are on cavity. They're a lot better than the direct fix. Um, so s stay away from those unless you can afford a reclad. Mm -hmm. um, internal gutter decks, they're a big issue. There's always a problem with those. And flat roofs, anything with flat roofs sort of scares people off a little bit. But um, if they're old, definitely. If they've been built recently, shouldn't be too much of an okay, issue. Okay, so if you need an inspection, what do you get for your inspection? We do everything. We go. Um, we do everything that you wouldn't do in an open home. You're not crawling around underneath the house. You're not going up in the ceiling. Um, we test everything for moisture around the windows, the joinery, um, around the bathrooms. That's where a lot of common causes are. It's one of the biggest mm. 
claims is in the bathroom from leaky bathrooms. So we do everything. We check out you know, the drainage, your electrical, insulations, subfloors, roof framing, everything. How long does it roughly take? Um, between half an hour to an hour. Yeah, I did a big house in Rimuera once, and that took me about three hours. It was huge, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was pretty cool. And what are we talking price-wise? Like, what sort of thing does it cost? Uh, to say, two, so we kick off around two bedrooms is around three fifty, and five bedrooms plus is about five thirty plus. So, if you're making a big investment in the house, it's actually really worth checking out to see yeah. what you could be up for in the future as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, who's spending less than a million dollars these days? And and then you can, yeah. you know, for five hundred bucks. So is it a good idea to maybe get one, if you were if thinking of selling your house, could you get your own inspection mm. to show to people who are looking at buying it? A lot of people will go and get their own because they don't know if you, you're in their pocket, so mm. to say. But I recommend it to people who are selling a house to find out what's wrong with their house, whether or not it's worth fixing up to get maximum dollar. Yeah. So you can, you know, you might say, Or just right, leave it and say, hey, this is wrong, we'll take that off the price. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's been enlightening. Thank you so much. My pleasure. For stopping by. Anytime. And if you want to find out more, you can head to Craig's website on screen right now.